President Moon Jae-in attended a christening ceremony for a floating liquefied natural gas facility set to head to Mozambique. The South Korean leader emphasized the facility, the second largest in the world, will become a symbol of friendly cooperation between the two countries. Kim Min-ju shares with us his remarks. President Moon Jae-in says liquefied natural gas can be a substitute for coal and oil and aid the push to go carbon neutral. Moon spoke on Monday at a christening ceremony for the Coral Soul Floating LNG Facility. The offshore facility, or FLNG, which drills, refines, liquefies, stores and offloads LNG, will head to Mozambique. The Coral Soul FLNG with a length of 432 meters and width of 66 meters is the world's second largest facility and capable of producing 3.4 million tons of LNG each year. Samsung Heavy Industries won the 2.5 billion US dollar deal to build it in 2017. Moon highlighted the competence of South Korea's shipyards, noting that all four of the world's FLNGs were made by the country. He added that Seoul will upgrade its technology for eco-friendly ships, as well as developing zero-carbon smart vessels. Also at the event was Mozambique's president, Philippe Nuzi, on a three-day visit to South Korea. He is the first African head of state to visit the country since the pandemic began. Moon expressed hope that once LNG production begins in Mozambique, this will be a symbol of friendly bilateral ties. 내일 출항할 코랄술 FLNG는 유지 대통령님의 고향 카부 델가도 앞바다에서 연간 340만 톤의 LNG를 생산 출하게 됩니다. LNG 생산이 본격화되면 모잠비크 경제는 연 평균 10% 이상 고도 성장할 것으로 전망이 되며 인프라와 제조업의 동반 성장도 기대됩니다. President Yuzi thanks South Korea for sparing no effort, saying that Mozambique will continue to become a destination for such investment. He called for continued interest in Mozambique's development, adding that his country will also contribute to peace on the Korean Peninsula and the world. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.